Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. Today we'll write one of the important interview program for zero to three years of experience. That is, write a Java program to swap two numbers in Java. I repeat once again: write a Java program to swap to swap two numbers in Java. So, given an example of ten and twenty as input, I should get output as twenty and ten. That means numbers should get swapped. Okay. and uh, let's see the logic explanation and comment these three lines are enough to swap two numbers in java and understanding these three lines is very important and remembering these three lines is also very important okay if you understand the logic then it's very easy to remember okay so first example input is 10 comma 20 so i'm taking that 10 i'm storing the 10 in num num1 and num2 i'm storing 20 Okay, now what is the first step? Int temp equals to num1. So, if you see here, temp value will be num1. What is the value of num1? 10. And in the second step, num1 equals to num2. So num2 value is 20. Num2 value is 20. So num2 value is assigned to which value? Num1. So num1 is equals to 20. And in the third step. Temp value is assigned to num. Temp value is assigned to num. So what is the value of temp from the first step? The value of temp is 10. So now num num two value will be num two value will be temp. That is 10. So actually the input values are num one equal to 10 and 20. If you see the output here, num one is 20 and num two is 10. Okay. Let's take one more example. Twenty and ten, sorry, not twenty and ten. I'll take thirty and forty. So output should be output should be forty and thirty. Okay, let's see the explanation again. So so int temp equals to So num one in num one I should store the value as thirty and num two I should store the value as forty. So now coming to int temp one temp equals to num one. So temp value will be here thirty. I think these steps. So temp value will be thirty here. Now num one is equal to num two. What is the value of num two? Forty. So num one, the num two value forty is stored in num one. So num one value become here forty. And temp equals to thirty, and this thirty value is stored in num two. So num two value becomes thirty. So after swapping the output is num one forty and num two thirty. Let's write a program on this. So let's write the Java program to swap two numbers. So new package numbers numbers. I'm creating a class swap demo. In swap demo, I'm writing a main method. So as I said. I'm creating two variables in num one ten and num two equals to twenty. Okay, I'm writing a swap method. Public void swap static void swap in num one comma num two. Okay, so in swapping, as I said, there is uh, one important logic with three lines. So what is that? Int temp equals to num one. So this is the first step. And uh, num one equals to num two. And uh, num two equals to temp. 
so first num1 value is assigned to 10 and uh, num2 value is assigned to num1 and temp value is assigned to num2 now what i will be doing is i will printing the values of num1 and num2 before swapping so before swapping printing the value of num1 comma num2 so before swapping num1 and num2 values i am printing So before swapping num1 value is equal to num1 before swapping num2 value is equal to num2 now what happens is after swapping after swapping i am printing the values of num1 and num2 so after these three lines of logic is performed i am printing again the numbers so after swapping after swapping okay so first we showed the values in num1 and num2 and then i have said uh, uh, written these three lines of logic and after swapping printing those number values let's run this program and see the output so before swapping num1 equals to 10 num2 equals to 20 why because i haven't called this swap method so the output is 10 and 20 now what i am doing is i am just calling the swap method okay now let's see the from the program and see the output so before swapping <coughs> num1 equals to 10 and num2 equals to 20 and after swapping num2 num1 equals to 20 and num2 equals to 10 okay hope you guys understand this swapping logic thanks for watching my video if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my video if you have any doubts on this program, you can write in the comment section. I will reply to the I will reply to your comments as early as possible.